Southjet 227. We're in an uncontrolled dive. We got a jam stabilizer or something. Oh, Lord, we're coming out of 7,000. I see nothing but acid. When I say I want you to retract the flaps, retract the gear, trim us nose down, OK? Trim down? What are you going to do? Margaret, yeah. when I tell you I want you to push these forward, full throttle, can you do that? Yeah. OK, when I tell you. Wait, wait, sir, what are we doing? Why would I trim down? We're going to roll it, OK? What do you mean, roll it? we got to do something to stop this dive. Here we go. I've got control. It's clear that he also wants to go for the real deeper meanings and really sort of probe what's going on with this character with the whip and what he has to deal with. So it's 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 great that he's delving into this area where you kind of have to jump in with both feet. You can't you can't, you know, lightly wade into this. You got to jump into it and and he's up to the task. I flew the plane inverted. That means upside down. You you, know, you have any idea what that's like? I do. I uh, heard the black box recordings last night. Oh, you heard you saw you a pilot? No, I'm not. Then you don't know what they're talking about. All right, let's cut to the chase. What, 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 just tell me what it is I need to know, Charlie. The NTSB GO team also collects blood, uh, hair, and skin samples. An initial report shows that you had alcohol in your system. Mm. Thank you. Uh, so that was, uh, didn't mean anything. A couple of beers the night before the flight. This toxicology report states that you were drunk. And if it is proven that your intoxication was the cause of the death of the four passengers, now we're going to look at four counts of manslaughter. Oh, Lord! All right, Evan, flat. Flat! Speed brakes. Speed brakes! Oh. Oh. Margaret, power! Gear up. Gear up. I'm amazed at what Bob Zemeckis was able to do in basically 35 days. We only shot 35 days, and he made that movie look huge. You know, I mean, obviously he did a great scene in uh, Castaway. Probably just that scene alone took 35 days in Castaway, but in our film, we shot the whole movie in 35 days. Robert Zemeckis has people who have worked for him for so many years. And so, like with Don Burgess, the cinematographer, I, they do things with, they don't even have to speak. They can kind of look at each other and they know the size of the lens that they're both thinking and they know the moves. And what I didn't know about Robert Zemeckis, which I know now, is that he knows so much technically about cameras and arms and sizes and moves and, I mean, it's amazing. I've worked for a lot of incredible directors and some of them are really strong with dialogue or character or look. He's got, I get it now with Robert Zemeckis. He has all of it. You will never pay for another drink as long as you live. There is all kinds of crazy news people out here. It's a circus, man. Come on, check this out, man. It's all for you. Classic hero worship. You're a, you're, you're, you're a rock star, man. Oh, check out this video. This is outside your condo. It's a zoo. It's crawling with reporters. Let's see, check this out. This is Eugene or Captain Whitaker. You're my friends. Yeah. Yes, he's my brother. That's me. I said a few words, you know, mostly straight talk. I play uh, Hugh Lang, which is uh, who has come in, rather, who's come in to uh, defend uh, Denzel's character uh, against this uh, criminal negligence charge that he may be facing for his involvement in the, the plane crash. There was a black box recording that I read of a plane that had had an incident with their tail. The elevator had snapped in a fixed position, and the pilots, unfortunately, didn't know what was wrong with the plane. All they could feel was that the plane wanted to pitch down. And what this pilot explained to me was, that as this plane rolled over on them, the pilots were commenting back and forth, at least upside down, we're flying, is exactly one of these transcripts from this black box. And in truth, had they known that that was the problem, they would have known that their only recourse was to actually fly the plane stable, inverted, upside down, and try to descend to a level low enough that they could then f turn the plane back over and flop it on the ground. We had a whole big gimbal thing that would, you know, we, we, we're, we're really upside down. I mean, everything that's flying around, is, he, he didn't want to do it just with camera, you know, so I'm just twisting the camera or whatever. We're, we're, they built this giant thing that turned the whole plane upside down. These kind of roles don't come along that often, so when you get the opportunity, you know, I want to take the opportunity.